what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in this video we're going to talk about html forms and actually we're going to start talking about html forms because as you can see there's actually many forms that we could use in html and uh, if you think of forms in real life it's actually you're collecting some type of data right from uh, let's say when you're filling any type of survey or anything like that so the same works in html when you're filling out the form you want uh, your user or whoever is visiting your website either to uh, leave a comment or i don't know or, or leave some type of information about themselves or let's say if you're filling out any type of uh, survey again online or something like that so in order to create a form in html you would have to first create a form element and you can see that it's it has the opening and a closing tags and after that within that form element we would start to type what type of form we would want so in this case we're going to start with the most basic one it's going to be text field so i write over here input and then over here i would type attribute type and you can see what options I'm given by the brackets, right? That you can see that it's it's quite a lot. So we're going to start with the first one, which is text. And the input is actually a uh, self-enclosing form. So we'll just put here forward slash over here. And now we have a form over here. You can see over here. But let's say I'm just going to give it, I'm just going to make it a little bit realistic. And I'm just going to write username and a colon over here. And now I can see that I have a username and I have a form over here for that username. Now, once we're going to start actually working with a forms or, or in general, once you're going to start working for, with forms in real life, you'll see that obviously the da database would need to know uh, what type of form it is and, and, and how to process it. So another attribute that you always have to uh, write with the forms is actually name of the form. Now you can choose whatever name you want, but uh, it would make sense uh, actually if you would make something that's relevant to let's say username. So in this case, I'm just going to write username, but I could have easily named this dog or, or cat or animal or whatever I would want. But it just, it makes more sense if it's Real, relatable to the actual form that you're trying to fill out so we go over here and we have username and let's say i'm gonna say johnny three four five and obviously once i press enter the page just reloads but nothing is happening because we haven't connected to the, to the any type of database but you can see over here that we have created our first form so let's just copy this and let's make another text input field but this one uh, let's create a line break in between and like this and over here I'm gonna say favorite food okay and now I have a username and then I have favorite food now once we will actually gonna be sending the forms uh, to some type of database there's actually two attributes that we would need to enclose in the form element the first one would be action over here and the second one would be method method and again you can see that method has two options it's get or post and actions would action actually attribute would have more options because we can either send it to that website send it to the database or just in the most simple one we can just send it to our email which is what we're gonna do but not right now we're gonna actually start covering that once we uh, cover the input type is gonna be the submit button and then I'll show you how we can actually just test it out by sending to our email. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next video.